What's really cool is that this is not a typical adventure race. I mean, I don't think there's anything like this in the world. People who are blind, people who are paralyzed, people who are amputees, you know, working their way through an unbelievably rugged course uh, with all sorts of perceived danger. So I think that's, that's really unique. What's cool is that this race kind of breaks ground because, you know, you have all these disability organizations out there that take people out climbing and this and that, but, but for me, there's a step beyond just going out and, you know, having a quick little experience. Having a real adventure, and that's what this race is. It's an absolute real adventure. Yeah, we got the prologue going on today, and this is going to decide the starting order for tomorrow. We're doing great. It's a fabulous day to be out here. You know, I think the greatest thing about this event is it really highlights uh, teamwork because you really have to uh, work as a team in order to get through the race together. You missed first by four seconds. <laughs> it's just a great event because it gets folks who might not otherwise be able to get out in a, a true wilderness situation. It, it gets them out in this beautiful terrain. People from different backgrounds and different abilities. And, and uh, even though it's a competition, it's a very friendly competition. I'm a little nervous about the downhill sections just because I figure I'm going to be going so fast. And I'm trying to make it back to work on Tuesday morning in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Got a couple of us going to head out that way, pick up some points. Three of us are going to head this way and shuttle bikes and rendezvous with our team in about a half mile from here down the road. And it's a beautiful day and we're excited. We're ready to go. The battle royale on the river is awesome. Freedom team was ahead of us, so we really knew that we had to dig. Uh, they, were, they were going back and forth to try to bump our boat to go spin sideways. Yeah, there's something really special about getting up several hours before daylight and preparing for battle on the river. The main range of Colorado Rockies is, is very close by, we can actually see it from here. And out to the west, we've got the Western Slopes. And we're in the river valley on the upper Colorado. Great big canyons and powerful whitewater. The company that runs the event is World Team Sports. And team for them is the exceptional athlete matters. And it's all about athletes with disabilities. So they're creating access to things that we as, as able-bodied people take for granted. Actually, some of us don't. Some people, most people, don't really think a triathlon, for instance, is normal, that it's a fairly hardcore athletic endeavor, and it is. World Team Sports makes it accessible to people who typically wouldn't even think about doing an, a triathlon, or a long bike ride, or a climb up Kilimanjaro, or an adventure race. What I love about it is the teamwork. You're problem solving your way through the course, um, and you you help each other, and you make everyone on the team better. 
And I thought, you know, when you're disabled, you're no different from anyone else. You, you crave that kind of team and adventure in your life. These people love adventure, as you can see.